Time goes by so fast. It's hard to believe, but Fletcher's Creek Co-op is now celebrating its 20th anniversary. On September 13, 1994, when the complex of small townhouses were built on the initiative of Canada Auto Worker Union, first members of cooperative began to move in. Some of the members that moved in the first day still reside in Fletcher's Creek and remember this day very well. Empty all around. <laughs> no street. Street ended at Falling Brook. That's it. Coyotes, frogs, foxes, <laughs> wind whistling, and nothing else. <laughs> and I have a really fun memory of my daughter just climbing into the cupboard. We were looking for her and she was inside the cupboard because she was so small in the kitchen. So that was really cool. The interview was conducted, I remember. I was kind of scared because I didn't know much about co-op. Well, I didn't know anything at all, actually, not one, nothing. And a lady, I think her name was Gloria, she explained to me everything and she told me how the co-op runs. And slowly by slowly, I used to come for general, general membership meetings. I got to know people. I came here to survey the area. It was all like secluded, like a village, because Streetsville was the only place closer here. Everything else was bushes and a few buildings around here. So I decided, okay, this is a little bit from Toronto. It's, it's better. So when it started being built, then I came to see it and here I am. <laughs> I used to live in Toronto for 17 years and it was my really first house. I used to live in apartments. So it was very different. I was happy I have my own washer and dryer. It was more comfortable and more, um, how can I put that in words? It was more private. I didn't have any neighbors above me or below me, just on the side, so that was nice. First days it was great because I've got my own backyard, I've got my own front yard, I could do my own laundry. It's really a self-contained uh, unit and it was easy to get to work. The stores are nearby so it was a great neighborhood. It still is a great neighborhood to live in. Everything was brand new and to move into something that's brand new is great. Um, it was a little rough, the roads weren't paved yet, and so we had to have the paving company in, and so when you had kids outside playing, I guess, it was a little hard. But once we got in, it was fine. There was a lot, a lot of kids in the beginning. I'm usually very, very private, but there was um, a woman when I first moved here, she befriended me and offered plants and told my children they could come into her garden anytime and help themselves to the raspberries. Um, there's a, a gentleman that they go and his garden has grapes and they go and eat, go and help themselves to the grapes that are there. There's another person, I don't know who it is, the same with uh, fruit. Um, Nellie passed away think last year, so just her children here, and I'm, it's a shame, she was a really nice, kind person. First time I came here, so beautiful, and always beautiful, and the old people here, nice people, and I loved her so much. I like here over the years because I know so many people and they know me and it's nice to go out and just say hi, how are you and just talk to people. 
you know, so you don't feel so lonely, you know. You can go and talk and over the years I saw children grown up and children being born. And I think that sense of community is what I like. We had competitions. Every unit has to have some flowers in the front yard or front, front lawn. And we used to go by whose is the best and therefore people put in more effort to make it nicer. Even though it's so nice, it's not like before, it was beautiful. Because the competition was there, people were putting more effort to make it better. There was a night that my heat broke down. I called one of the members. They were there, the president of the board member and one of the board members. And they called the emergency line and they fixed everything. Because they live with us and they can solve our problems. And I'm glad to live here. I'm very happy. It's very mixed, very diverse, seniors yet youth, um, many different nationalities occupy Fletcher's Creek, so it's, it's really pretty mixed. For me, it's great that it's mixed and not too much of one type. I mean, other communities are overwhelmingly one nationality, one race, one set, mm -hmm. but Fletcher's Creek is really quite a melting pot. It's mixed. That's 20 years. My son is 31 right now. Uh, he had friends, especially one. They love to sleep over. <laughs> and they friends till today, the best friends. Uh, they keep in touch. My other two kids, uh, the same. They had lots of fun in a playground, that it's nice and safe. My family, my son's daughter growing here, happy because also we are besides schools, all our shopping centers, and this community is very clean. I've lived here my whole life, which is 14 years. He's lived his whole life. How old are you, how old are you Brayden? Seven. And he's seven years old. Now my daughter is back at home with her son, and soon they have plans to stay here because they feel safe in the area and they plan uh, for their son to go to the school here and grow up here. So the, another cycle begins. There's a lot of, uh, there's not many older kids like my age or anything, but I do and have my cousins. And, but he has a lot of kids his age that he can play with and so it's a good community. What I like about living here, that um, it is affordable housing. As I always say, life is not a book. Anything can happen and we can get help here. You can go to the office, discuss the situation and you will get help. Fletcher's Creek Co-op is now 20 years old. Old residents put down their roots in this neighborhood. Their children have grown up. Many of them got married and have their own families. Some members moved out and others are moving in. One thing has not changed. Human kindness, willingness to help, member solidarity. And they will last as long as Fletcher's Creek exists. Maybe 100 years and another day longer. Mm -hmm.